What's up, everybody? So we are in, we are in Tom's 2012 Mustang GT. Tom, you're in it, man. You don't have to whisper. <laughs> you're right here with me, brother. You're right here with me, man. So this, I'll be honest with you guys, I think this is the first car that I've ever been a little scared to take out. <laughs> I mean, you see the rear seat delete. Like, there's nothing back there. I mean, the car is boosted with a passing charger. Uh, he said it's a stock long block. Yeah, inside, now everything's been changed as the oil, same way Ford sent it to us. And we've already both pulled it down to the 348 pulley, so we have about 12 pounds of boost. Okay, and that 12 pounds of boost, how much power does this car make? It should make probably around 750 to 770. On 12 pounds? Yeah. What fuel? 93. I put Octane Boost in it, and that's it. Which one do you use? I use the, the Lucas Oil. Well, I, I've tried boosting it, they all work. Whatever I really get my hands on, but I mean, it's, if I'm stuck sometimes, I'll, I'll just throw it in just in case. I mean, it's only a 93 tune. Okay. So I don't even really add the Octane Boost just in case I get a bad tank of gas or something. I don't want okay. to risk it. It's, okay. it's just to make sure it's good fuel. That's always good. So when we developed Mod to Fame, our thought process was that we were going to test some of the most modded cars that there are. And this car definitely checks that motherfucking box. Like, I'm like afraid to drive this car. So we are going to be driving very slow uh, to start out with until I get a little bit more comfortable. But for the real full pulls, we're gonna give it back to Tom so that, so that he can do that. But it's crazy because in the last video, I just drove a 2017 Mustang GT. That car was a Roush car of uh, making about uh, 650. So less, way less horsepower, but it was like driving a stock car, uh, the way that it was set up. This car feels like I am about to go snatch everyone's soul. Watch out, demonology. Here we come. Here we come. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The next time you come to Jersey, bro, or the next time you come, I'll bring you up to this area. Tom said he's gonna snatch your soul. Cause this car definitely feels like it's ready for you. I see him beating up on the Mustangs. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was beating up on them. So, Tom, tell us, man. Let's start out with the engine build. What's what's done under the hood? Well, right now it has the Paxton 2200 uh, blower. It's got the Boss intake manifold. Yep. JPC long tube headers. Yep. It's got a cat delete. And it's got a, a three inch dump exhaust on the back. Nice. Most of that was for weight reduction. I don't think that power having a shorter exhaust, but right. less weight for the less pipes. Got it. Got it. Sounds good, man. So that combination is what made the car make how much horsepower on the dyno? Well, when it first got dyno, it only dyno at 600. Mid 600 when it first it got, got 699. dyno. 699. But the guy actually thought it'd be more simply when they uh, from data lock. Like Lund okay. Racing does the tuning. Yep. And just by looking at the graphs, they were saying that that dyno's off. That it is because when it was real hot. It was this time last year when it was last yeah. time actually on the dyno. Yeah. I haven't dynoed since I lowered the pulley down. Okay, but you're estimating that the car should be making around 750? Yeah, when I do like some of the calculations just for the weight of the car in a mile per hour, it comes out the same calculation around 750. Why is this car so loud, Tom? It's got three inch dump exhaust. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my God. How often do you drive this thing? At least once or twice a week. On the weekends, I can take it down to the track or nicer weather. Okay. So I like down the shore, so I'll take it for a ride out when it's nice out. All right. Well, I used it daily. It's got 89,000 miles on it. Really? Yeah, I just stopped dialing it about eight months ago. And when it when you were dialing it, how much power was it making then? Probably like six hundred. You were dialing it with six hundred yeah. horsepower. And what was your commute like to work? How far? Forty five minutes. Just each way? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> with six hundred some horsepower. Yeah. Well, there you go, man. I mean, I'm slowly being made a believer of these damn Mustangs. Yeah. I must say, they're a great buildable platform. I mean. It's, and it's all in what you get it for, right? If you're looking for a car to be the most luxurious and be the fastest, this is not the car no. for you. But if you just want to have fun, beat the piss out of a car and not worry about it and just enjoy it, I think this is the car, man. If I spent a lot of money on it and it broke down, I'd be heartbroken. Correct. And then you gotta be able to afford to pay to fix it. Correct. But this, you know, I wouldn't want to get rid of it. Like I said, I got this as a gift for my wife for our anniversary. So wait, you got this car as a gift yeah. from your wife? Yeah. My wife? Yeah. How long ago? In 2012. Oh, so you got this car since brand new. Since brand new. Yeah. So this car, wow. Well, okay. She knew I like Mustangs. I was following it a lot on the forums. And then for our anniversary, she came home. She drove it home from work, and then she brought me outside. You know, since she was having trouble with her car, <laughs> come out, and this car was sitting out there in the parking lot. A brand new silver GT. 
God dang. All right, so what did you have to do supporting mods? Let's start with transmission. It has a Circle D uh, converter in it, 3200 RPM. But okay. Other than that, it's a stock transmission. Okay. So that's how I could kind of bump the gas, but it doesn't really move. Yeah, it doesn't quite pick up. Because of the 3200 stall, which allows you to bring torque at the line for drag racing. Yes. Oh my God, this car is loud. It is loud. Now this is stock transmission? Yes. And it can handle this power? Yeah. Six or eight, six or eight. drive it like calm and I'm trying to not be a hooligan but this damn car doesn't want to listen I mean you got I saw you had skinnies up front uh fatties in the back uh full slicks no no they're, they're actually DOT tires those are Hoosier quick time pros Hoosier quick time pros they look like slicks yeah where's the line it must be like one there? little one or something <laughs> no, that's in there. holy I'm not. trying to push it like to the limit to where it's still street legal so if you get pulled over, and those are DOT tires at the moment. Knock on wood, let's not get pulled over. But you're good. Yeah. Okay. Skinnies are legal to drive on the street. Sure. Probably not the best idea, but they're legal. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever got caught in the rain? Yeah. I, I was going to an event one time and they just opened up. It wasn't bad as long as you just drove okay. Right. As long as you drive like I'm driving yeah, now. If you, if you just drive like you know, just going back and forth to work, you're good. Don't you don't try to do nothing crazy. Okay. okay. All right. Like I'll be honest with you guys, I'm still not ready to step on it. <laughs> I was still, I was still, it's so loud and I can just tell that this car is just for racing like that's its sole purpose now it used to be a daily but it is not that anymore what about suspension did you have to do any suspension mods? I got it it has an Ebok drag springs on it I okay. got the Viking double adjustable, adjustable shocks in the back Shit. and the strange uh, single adjustable in the front jeez so I can tame it down a little bit but I just like to once you get it dialed in like at the track you really don't like to mess with it back again. okay now the Paxton is centrifugal charger, right? Yes. So the hood, that's just for the time. That's yeah, just, yeah, for, the just for appearance. That was one of the first mods I actually did to it. Okay. It's a Cervini's hood. It really doesn't, it was actually probably weighs more than what the stock would weigh. It was just for appearance. Okay, got it. So right now, if you were driving along, you would step on it. You would. Well, as long as I knew the road I was on. Right. Okay. Well, if I don't know the area, I'm a little skeptical. Once I can see that, if it's Right. Like a straight up shot. Yeah. Like I'll be honest, in that last Mustang, I would have hit it down this road, even with a little turn and everything. But this thing just feels like it's gonna lift up and that's gonna be it. Like I could definitely tell this is a this the is a, likes to dance a little bit. We still have the traction control on, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. You may, you may probably cut it back a little so it does it does. Okay. Well, I'm gonna slow up here. Let some of these cars go by. So I feel a little bit more comfortable. Then I'm gonna go to the middle. Because <laughs> I don't want to be that busted guy. So we'll just no drop slow. Just go around. Go around, buddy. Okay, don't go around. This car needs a lot of road. <laughs> this <laughs> needs a lot of road. This is not like you're not gonna play in small spurts with this car. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> oh my god, Tom. This is a beast. I mean, we call cars beast all the time, but no, 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 no. This is this is this is the definition of beast. Like I can feel. I never felt like it was gonna stop. Like wavering. And that's with the traction only. I can't imagine. Or even like so from a dig, it, it pinches the seat. It I can tell because it. I mean, it, I mean, you. We'll, we'll do the replay slow mo right now of when we hit the gas. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the, like, I I know what I felt. I felt my body go like this. Like I felt it push me back. I mean, it's a trip like that. Whew. It's very like temper S where it even pulls harder as it goes. Like off the line, it's, it's not a total right. monster down low. It really Correct. It's down. not a roots charger, no. so it, it builds yeah. with the RPMs. 
quick lesson. Roots chargers are superchargers that go on top of the motor, uh, like the Hellcat, and then centrifugal chargers act like turbos. Um, they, they're both belt driven. The difference is centrifugal chargers build boost with the RPM range. So does Roots chargers, but the way it feeds the air is much similar, much more similar to a turbo, correct? Correct. Beautiful. I just wanted to make sure I didn't screw that up. <laughs> Man, I tell you, uh, yeah, 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 beast. I'll be honest with y'all, I'm, I'm still scared, but I am gonna mash it like one more time, and I'm gonna find a right road to do it. But in the meantime, we'll chill until then. I know I said I would do another pull and stuff, but I don't know, guys. <laughs> I mean, cause I was talking to Tom and I was like, the car is like yelling at me. It's tossing me. It's like, it's like I'm a little rag doll. I know it's different on the drag strip too. It behaves differently. Yeah, it's straight as an arrow. On the drag strip. Uh, yeah, it, it, it kicks out a little bit. The so second shift hits hard and you're going from a dig. Yeah. So sometimes it'll spray the tires loose, but other than that, it's A to B. That's why some of those tires I keep on the back. Yeah. They actually be a little quicker. These are bias play. Yeah, the radials on the back for ET wise. Right. But they're just more consistent. So when you're like trying to dial the car in, you know it's going to go A to B pass every time. Right. I must say though, the fun factor is definitely there. No, I mean, uh, if you want a roller coaster, this is the car for you. Uh, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. Are there faster cars? Sure. I mean, is a twin turbo Lamborghini faster? Probably, but it don't feel like this shit. Not from a dick though. It does not feel like, oh, you said not from a dick? <laughs> all right, all right, so, all right, Tom, let us know, man. What's your fastest pass so far? Well, it's got 990 in good air, but just this past weekend, it was 10 only. So that means when it cools down again. Yeah, it should be probably 974. Jesus Christ. All right, last time, guys, this is it. Like it, it, it didn't move, it didn't move around. It was straight as an arrow just now. It felt great. It felt great. It's just, it's not my car. And yeah. It's, it's hard to use. It's like the, it doesn't ride that well, but like I was trying to say, you know, fast cars don't ride well. So. They don't. <laughs> they don't. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to have you do like a blast up the street. I'm going to film it from outside the car. <laughs> but we'll let you do like a little launch. Uh, at the end of this road here because I want these guys to hear what it sounds like from outside the car how much of a monster it really is mm, mm, mm. this car serves one purpose and one purpose only and that's to either scare yourself <laughs> or to scare others around you and it does that well very well I mean honestly I'll be honest it feels way faster than 750 wheel horsepower it feels faster than that are you sure Get forward to uh, Tom here, just doing a straight line blast up this street. Let's go. You see it? Look at those lines. Perfect, perfect double lines. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Those lines are perfect. It's just so much happening with my senses, right? Um, it's involving all of my senses. I mean, my sight, my feel, I can smell like the, the, the exhaust fumes. I mean, the sound, 
it's involving pretty much all of my senses except taste. And I guess it is because I have no more saliva. Like I'm dry mouth, I'm cotton right now. So I think that's what it is. It's involving every sense that I have to drive this car. Whereas most cars, you could just kind of follow la 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 along. This ain't that. No, you gotta pay attention with this. This ain't that. This is not that. You're not texting and driving this. No, hell no. <laughs> I mean, listen, I, that's it. You are absolutely right, brother. We got it. We figured out how to fix the law. Give everyone uncontrollable 750 horsepower and it is controllable in the right hands. Don't get me wrong, all those Mustang memes, don't talk about it, it's bullshit, it's all down to the driver. And that's why I'm not pushing it, because I would be that guy. <laughs> I would make the Mustang meme come true. But that's it, we fixed it. Give everybody a 800 horsepower Mustang and that drives like this, and you will have no more texting and driving. You solved it right there? That solves it. <laughs> We're geniuses, bro. We What's up, everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And you just watched a video from our latest series called Modified Car Reviews. Well, what is Modified Car Reviews? Well, it's actually when we feature cars that have actually been built performance-wise, aesthetics, I mean, you name it, that's been done to the car. We actually consider that a modified car or car built. If you're interested in having your car be featured on Mod to Fame, it's pretty simple. You just hit the email, support at modtofame.com. That's showing up right now. Send us a couple images of your car and a little bit of information on your build. And if you're selected, we'll reach out to you. Keep in mind, we are in the Northeast. So we're keeping it right now in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. But anyway, also while you're on the website, you might as well grab some of this merch, like what I'm wearing right now. This is the Black Edition t-shirt. Uh, whatever I was wearing in the video, I'm not sure which one it is. It could have been one of the hats. It could have been a different shirt. All of it is available right now at modtofame.com. So go ahead and grab that for yourself. Anyway, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. But until the next one, we about to jump in this modified Durango, and we out, we out.